Hi, welcome to Ms. Richardson's U.S. History 5-Minute Lectures. The information will be U.S. Note 6.6, .6, Conservatism and Reagan. It includes information that goes along with the second section on your Unit 6 study guide. Remember, you have control of the lecture. Use your study guide to figure out what's important, pause if you need to, write down any questions you have, and re-watch as often as you need. Let's go ahead and get started. So in the previous set of notes, you learned about society in the 1980s and 1990s. Now we want to spend some time looking at the presidents and their policies and impacts. We're going to start with Ronald Reagan. Reagan was elected in 1980 amidst the turmoil and dissatisfaction of the period. You should remember that the economy was poor, the energy and oil crisis had been hurting the U.S. for years in the 70s, and the Iran hostage crisis was actually still happening until the very day that Reagan took office. So Ronald Reagan represented change and easily was a defeated Carter in the election in 1980. So Reagan, who was a Republican, represented conservatives and conservatism. So conservatism can be defined as the belief that government power, especially in regard to the economy, should be limited in order to maximize individual freedoms. This belief is often associated with Republicans and has been for decades. In addition to traditional conservative beliefs, the 1980s also gave birth to a group known as the Moral Conservatives, or the Religious Right. These conservatives not only believed in limiting government control over the economy, they also believed in Christian religious teachings and wanted governmental choices to reflect those same beliefs. The Religious Right shared their beliefs through the teachings of the Moral Majority. This group was led by televangelists like Jerry Falwell, who you can see here, Pat Robertson, who you see here, and Jim and Tammy Faye Baker. In addition, the term moral majority was actually coined by Jerry Falwell originally, so they liked that moniker. These individuals put on spectacular shows every week that shared their religious beliefs and pulled more and more support for, to the conservatives. The emphasis was not only that was not only that the government should be concerned with the economy and business, but also that the government should ensure that there was a moral component to America and to our policies. Thousands flocked to hear their message, and conservatives like Reagan added it to their political agenda. A lot of people liked this idea after the years of kind of the distrust and the breakdown of the relationship between people and the government. So conservatism changed in the 1980s under Reagan due to the influence of the moral majority. The new conservatives believed in less government regulation, less government control, limited government power to preserve freedom, and an underlying, underlying threat of morality throughout any laws that were passed. This appealed to the American public who had been so disillusioned by Nixon, Ford, and Carter. They were ready for change and they got it. And we'll talk more about Reagan's policies in our next set of notes because this is the end of U.S. Note 6.6. .6. Hopefully you learned something and I'll see you in class with any questions you have.